Every day our soldiers, airmen, and civilian employees make extraordinary contributions in their hometowns across the country and around the world. It's a distinct honor to lead such an incredible team. When we pause on and reflect on the past, like the upcoming commemoration of the first muster, it's also an ideal time to think about our organization's future. As you do so, these are my three priorities, which will guide my service as your 43rd Adjutant General of the Nation's First. First, we will field winning teams. Our units will be the best organized, manned, equipped, and trained to ensure our soldiers and airmen are ready to fight and win the nation's wars and secure the homeland. Second, we will invest in our people. Our people are our most important asset, and investments in them deliver the greatest return for both the Commonwealth and the nation. Finally, we'll build enduring relationships. Ours is a community-based force whose relationships have local depth and global reach. Everyone with a connection to a current or former Massachusetts National Guard service member must know how important their continued support is to the success of our missions. Soon, you'll hear about the lines of efforts we will pursue in support of these priorities, as well as my expectations for every leader at every level of the Massachusetts National Guard. In the meantime, I want to thank our soldiers, airmen, civilian employees, and their families for their continued support and sacrifice to both the Commonwealth and our country. Let me be clear, we will do whatever it takes to achieve mission success around the world and here in the homeland. The nation's first will be universally respected and known as the nation's best.